Hello, WH Smith. I'm Jojo Moyes, and I'm delighted to talk to you about my new book, The One Plus One. The One Plus One, like many of my books, is quite hard to describe succinctly. It's part road trip, part love story, partly the story of an unusual family that perhaps like a lot of families these days doesn't necessarily fit into the 2.4 mould. Um, but essentially it's a story about hope and love and all those big issues that I try to encompass in all my books, yeah, with perhaps a few laughs thrown in. Jess, who is the single mother character in The One Plus One, is kind of quietly heroic. She's one of these women who is just battling through every day um, with very little help, trying to keep her children well and happy and to earn enough money just to get by, really. She's an irrepressible optimist and she's incredibly resourceful, but she doesn't always make great choices and this is at the heart of the book. Ed, I hope, is not a conventional leading man. I try not to make characters too um, predictable. He is a geek who has made good. Um, but he's made a huge amount of money selling his software company, but subsequently has found himself slightly out of his depth in the world of business. Being involved with Jess's family actually teaches him to open up the more human side of himself and also perhaps to understand better the mistakes that he's made and how to move on from them. But if he had been left to his own devices and their paths hadn't crossed, I think he would still be behind a computer screen. My favourite road trip was a bit like a road trip in the one plus one in that it was completely insane, in that I'd agreed to do a book tour in, in New Zealand, which involved me, my husband, two children and a six month old baby driving from one end of South Island to the top end of North Island. And I think it took a week or two and we had to stop every couple of hours to breastfeed the baby and deal with whatever ch child needed whatever help at the time. I still remember just loving the scenery, loving the place and being completely unfazed by the completely nuts nature of the whole thing. 